we've come out for a bit of a walk and we've seen these prickly pears down there and because I'm with foraged by Fern how can we not stop and pick some prickly pears which she's been researching and now we've decided to come and get some and we're going to make some what we're going to make? Uh, well I think we're going to make a syrup and then we're going to make cocktails we're going to make a prickly pear syrup and ha make and put them in some cocktails so we're going to have a prickly pear cocktail so stick around for that and I, I haven't changed I'm not making bright pink cocktails all the time lads I will be back with some hiking videos and some bushcraft but for now join me as we make bright pink cocktails in the sun <laughs> and, while, <laughs> and that's why they're called prickly pears. Do they inject their prickly pears into you? No, you just get like a little splinter. Right. But they're hard to... I feel like you should be pricked by a prickly pear just... Did you bring the tweezers? <laughs> uh, they're, they're not in my bag. That would have been such a good move. They're in, the, um, they're in my first aid kit. In the car. Come here, Bovril. How's your finger? Yeah, all good, man. Look at them, it's littered. The whole side of this cliff is just littered with big old paddle cactus, the prickly as tits. Fern's already had one in her finger, I've had on one, one on knee. I'll show you one, look. <coughs> Easy to get off and twist off. And there you go, he sang about it on Jungle Book. If you want any references, check out The Jungle Book for prickly pears and how to deal with them. No one's safe from these prickly idiots, not even the cells. You put them next to each other and they just prick each other. <laughs> They're mad for it. This is a prickly pear. It's prickly. <laughs> <laughs> They're very prickly. Okay. No, no, no. So they're just, these are the plants and they're like little paddle shaped cactuses. And then there's the pear-shaped fruit, and they're all covered in spines, and really you need gloves to harvest them. But there are no toxic varieties, so they're a really safe fruit to forage. Um, and we don't really know what they taste like yet, so should we, we should try one. We'll try one now, live. Oh I my god, live, guys. You can like... So this isn't something I've foraged before, because obviously they don't grow in the UK. But you can eat them raw, but they, they've got flesh inside, and then they're covered in pips. So you have to eat the... Oh my god, look. Well, you let me get in to... on that. <laughs> Are you wearing white? Oh, is I am this, wearing white. Is this right? <gasps> wow. Are you going in? I'm going in. Look. Oh my god, it's nice. Is it nice? What does it taste like? A fruit, if there was a fruit that it mm. could be like. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying not to see is... all the seeds. Deep fried. Like a kiwi. Okay. That very <laughs> <laughs> Try some. Oh, yeah, I'm holding this. Wait, yeah, loads of Oh, I've got a good bit. I've got a good bit. Live. Don't get it on the shirt. Okay. There's so many pips though. Can you eat them? No. Spit them out. They're quite warm. Mm -hmm. I've swallowed loads. Are they bad for you? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. You have a little cactus growing inside you. Mm. Mm. There's so many. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I think. Like, there's so many. I think that's why we're going to take them home and juice them. And this was just the tester <laughs> to get them. Where are they coming from? <laughs> just multiplying and I just wake up in the night up. Like, Your tongue is so pink. Yours is. Wow. <laughs> I Look like it though. What did you think it tasted like? A little bit like a kiwi fruit, maybe like. Um, an unripened plum, like a, a tart. It had a bit of tartness to it, mm. like a plum. I mean, they're a messy little thing. You could, oh. it's difficult to eat them on the go. Look at your fingers. I know. Do you think it will stain? So you could, it's a natural dye, is it? Don't get it on here. So I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Have some more. I, like, I do like it's it. It's a labor of love, isn't it? Yeah, but a lot of wild foods are, aren't they? And yeah. there are cultivated versions, so you can buy them in the market cultivated and they don't have as many pips in and they don't have the spines on the outside. 
That's what you're looking for. A little Ooh, I do like, like a little chicken gizzard. <laughs> mm. <laughs> or some it. I wonder if you can eat the seeds, have you asked? Oh the what I read said don't eat the seeds. Oh well, I've eaten. I don't think they're toxic. They're just you don't want to eat all the seeds. There's the seeds. And that's what you're dealing with, little tiny seedlets. Look. What the? It's kind of got a greasy like vat. It's not like a. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusted. Oh no! What? I've got a prickle at here. How have you managed that? Well, I don't know, but it's definitely happened and I need you to help me immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it's everything what going. if I swallow it? You're all right. How have you managed that? I can feel it. Honest? Uh -huh. In your lip? I hope you might. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get that out. Might have to do some surgery or something. Get rid of that. I'm worried I'm going to swallow it. No, but it's, it's, it's not going to do mouth, anything I bad to you. To <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming it. So. <laughs> You're here live for the extraction. Crush it. That like, crush it. Uh -uh. Prickly pears, near the front. I mean, maybe I scratch it out. Yeah, that's what I mean, just rough it, rough and tumble it. They're only soft, aren't they? They're quite soft. Oh, I got it. Got it, she got it. Whew. Look. Oh my God. Right, they are prickly, they're called prickly pears and we've come under prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you the other side of your finger. Uh, under prepared, good pun. Uh, by not bringing any gloves or knives or spoons or anything like that that you're supposed to bring because we're just ra we're randomly hiking and and we're just sort of doing it on the hoof as they say and so we've had a few in the old fingers and it's not the prickles on the the paddles that you've got to watch out for although you do because look at the size of them it's the ones on the pears they're little fine hairs of the things and we've had them in our fingers and first just that's one in the roof of a mouth <laughs> which is expertly uh, extracted there you go we're gonna get these home and we're gonna make like a sweet syrup and we're gonna fry some of these and we're also gonna fry some come and have a look they're too much <laughs> we can... how do we deal with that imagine if i got one of those in the roof of my mouth how do we deal with it like you you have to cut off the spines but they sell them in the market right. and then you just chop them up and literally fry them do you need to skin it no you don't need to skin it okay well we just fry it. I've got a knife. Maybe we can come back when I've got the knife and we can... Because we can't carry that. In my t-shirt. Get my shirt. Okay, right. We're going to have to go. We're going to wrap a few of these in Fern's <laughs> t-shirt. And we're going to eat these because these are edible too. Uh, and we can have them with our fancy drinks. No. <laughs> <laughs> and also, what's this? Swiss chard. <laughs> it is. We've just been suffering getting all these prickles out of ourselves, thinking, oh yeah, we wish we had a knife, but <laughs> classic hiker bum bag, embarrassing as it is, even more so. My little Spyderco bug, which is the perfect travel companion. Put this in your first aid kit and you can get away with taking it uh, on the plane. I won't do it. Don't do as I. Just don't do it, all right? But <laughs> you can do it because look how small it is. The spider code bug and perfect for chopping off these little spines and getting some paddles. Right, come with me. Hey <laughs> guys, come with me. Get this prickly pear. Um, so Fern's the one who's been doing all the research really, I can't take any credit for it, but she says it's the smaller, darker green ones when you when you're collecting the paddles, but you can see here. There's loads of them in all sorts of stages of their life. Some of them have shot to bits. Some of them look pretty healthy. So if you zoom down here, we can see this one looks pretty healthy. Nice and dark green. I mean, you're going to have to take a bit of a, a tickling. But the old spider car, straight through and very satisfying indeed. Ooh, look at that. And it's going to take some time, but I guess, ow. You can, <laughs> if you can get hold of it, there must be an easier way. No, baby, oh, no, man oh, down. The thumb, triple man thumb. down. Oh my God. Oh, they're bad oh. as well. <laughs> too, it's too much. It's too. Why? Could it be worth the effort? 
So what happens, they get in you, they're barbed, and then they break off because the ends are really fine and it's not... I'm just doing what, this is science, this is for you guys, so you don't, I do it so you don't have to. Uh, it's not these big ones, you know where you are with them, they'll just cut you and you'll bleed. It's these little fine ones down here, near the base of it. Uh, they're barbed and they break off into your skin and they'll cause all sorts of irritation. So I don't think it's worth it. No, you haven't tried it yet. I don't think it's worth it. It might be the most lovely vegetable you've ever eaten. No, no. <laughs> Am I allowed to do that? No! Why? Poisonous? Absolutely instant death. <laughs> right. It hurts though. Maybe let's just take one home, get all the spines off home, because at home you can use a fork as well. To hold her down? To hold her down, yeah. <laughs> Alright. But transporting them, surely you have to take the thing... Just... Oh no. Right. I hate... Oh. I hate these things. Oh, God. What? Why can't we just be cooking stew in the woods? It's not easier. We have to eat the prickly cactus full. All right, fair enough. Okay, join us later when we've figured out how to get these home. <laughs> there you go. One in there as well. Oh my God, there's such a labour of pain. It's probably the best thing I've ever eaten. Pressure's on. Here we go. There you go, that's what they look like with no defence. Pathetic now, isn't it? Now who's the winner? Not me. Burn. <laughs> there you go, I was a bit like a bull in a china shop and when it started prickling me, it was like... I think there's a fable to be found here, but can't be bothered to find it, but... Fern's just taken the time, painstakingly removed all the spines from that. Well done, Fern. And now, we can take him and maybe a couple more back home and we'll see what they taste like. Don't don't smell too clever, but no, I can't do it. I'm too I'm too too I think heavy handed. It smells good. Well, fresh. Mm, like it. Can you eat it raw? Yeah, I think so. Let's have a taste of it. Can you eat it raw? Well, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> right, brilliant. I'll even see you are a word. It's pretty bland, to be fair. Anyway, let's get it back and get it cooked. It might become something worth the prickles. Vlogging in apartment, look what I'm doing. Yeah, vlogging it, look. I don't know, people might want to do you lot want to see you do. Come in here. Airbnb, because you might want to book an Airbnb and come to Tenerife and pick prickly pears and get them stuck in the mouths. I think it's 30 quid a night for two of us. And because we're not near any, like, pubs, clubs and all that, we're, we're sort of tucked out of the way, it was pretty cheap. So all this for 30 quid, for uh, for two of us a night. And look at this, this is, look at the old doors and the wooden beams and it's an old plantation. Like they used to um, farm bananas and coffee and all sorts of stuff back in the day. And it was the host's family that owned it and now he's got it and he uses it as an Airbnb. But this is the pièce de résistance, look at this. The sink. Skew's the best, but look at that. Wooden sink. Like some sort of... It's like a burl, isn't it? Like it's been uh, carved out of a big burl off a... Like a birch burl or something like that. Beautiful burl. And then the shower's all like stone, natural stone shower. It's good stuff. Good soup. Good soup. And uh, do you want to look around the garden? Cribs, MTV cribs. Wait, before you go, can I use your little knife, please? I never thought you'd ask. <laughs> and I'm going to wash it to get the rest of the spines off. Okay. That's one prickly pear there in there that you can see. That fern's just just done. So you've got maybe three teaspoons of juice per one pickly pear. Because all the seeds are covered. It's quite gelatinous, so it's uh, it's hard to get through here. Fern's going to stick here and do this while I take you out garden. But also, just look at this. Look in bag. They're all you can see them all stuck in the side of my bag, and all that that dust there. That's all spines. So you have to be careful and. Get rid of them all properly, because that is bad times. Look at them all. And then do you think they're full of vitamins? 
so many vitamins. <laughs> Superfood. It is gelatinous though, isn't it? I thought it would be more juice. Uh, yeah, it's like a, you can... it's already like syrupy, isn't it? Yeah, not juicy like a uh, citrus would be. The the juice that's coming out of it is quite viscous, quite thick almost. And so we'll bear that in mind when we're making our jus. It would make a nice syrup. Shoe. You wouldn't need much sugar, would you? Like to it's thick already. Yeah. Like... You just need to sweeten it a bit, I guess. Drizzled over some vanilla ice cream would be quite good, wouldn't it? I think. There you go. I've helped. I've helped. I've helped. You can prove it. Look. Look at that. Beautiful. And these are edible as well. But look in here. So we're in this compound. It's like it's got its own walled garden around this building. The mountains in the background, the sea out there. And it's got all these lovely. Look at that, bird of paradise. Like little secret areas. And you've got like little table and chairs. A hammock. You having it? Just make sure there's no spiders in there and then we'll get in there, shall we? This is it. Ah, this is sort of camping, isn't it? Sorry for the lack of... Uh... <laughs> Sorry for the lack of like camping and hiking videos, but I need this. I've needed a holiday. Let's get you down here. This is too comfy. There I am, up, swizzling about. Oh, stop. The last time I was on this island, I tried to swim with turtles and it just didn't happen. I said, if I, if I manage to swim with turtles, I'll get a turtle tattooed on me. And I, I didn't manage it and ended up just having to get a, sh well, not having to, I did get a shell on me, which is not the same, is it? Not the same as a turtle. So we're going to try and swim with some turtles. Tomorrow we've got a big hike planned to like a secluded cove. Yeah, lots of outdoorsy stuff. So I'll bring you that. Stick around. It's not my usual content, and I do appreciate that. I've had about three or four different varieties of the flu. What's that about? Like just getting out of one flu, and then you get another one that's got different. You know, like a a sommelier will like tell you about the wine and the wine notes like I'm like a fluillier so I can be like oh yeah this one's got wonderful raspy cough back note to it the first couple of days you get a wonderful sweaty night's sleep really hits you hard at first and then it sort of tapers off into just a hooping style cough lots of phlegm I've just been tumbling into from one illness into other and then uh, we sort of impromptu we've booked this just a few days out in some sunshine cheap as chips like the flight was cheap because we were flying out on new year's eve and the accommodation as i said like 30 quid a night for two years making all our own picnics and taking them out in the day on our hikes like sandwiches and stuff and uh, keeping everything low budget just enjoying it getting a bit of vitamin d and then i'll be back when i get back from this holiday we've got proper hikes proper wild camping proper bushcraft and all that sort of stuff but for now i'm just enjoying me my holiday and i thought i'd try and do a little vlog and bring you along for the ride. So enjoy <laughs> if you want. If you don't want, uh, go and watch some old MCQ bushcraft. I would uh, the goat. Shall I spend a night in here? That's kind of that's kind of camping, isn't it? In Ippy Hammock though. Just get a few joss sticks on. Get me. <laughs> Hey man. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> hey man. Oh, I better go and ask. I better go and help some more. But yeah, that's where we're at. I'll let, oh, in fact, I'll let you have a little look more out garden. So you've got this little hidden, hidden hammock area, which is pretty cool. This monstrosity here is uh, the kapok tree, and if you look, it's all like nice and smooth on here, all up on the top there. But then, as you start getting down here, look at these little warlords, man. There's no giving that that solid, so... That's going to stop anything from climbing up there. And imagine if, you, if you've if you had a few scoops and you're on your way back from Tiki Bar and you stumble onto that. <laughs> oh my god. That is medic! Buddha frog. More succulents. Nanas, fresh nanas we had the other day. Right. 
Yeah. Is you ready? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Yeah. And then you can sit in there. You can sit in that boat if you want. You've got the mountains. But what we're really here for is this. The champagne cocktail. Ooh. It's such a good colour. Like there is a seed in that one. It's okay. Do you want to try some just by itself? Yeah. Pink gloop? It's gloop. Pink gloop. Freshly prepared. Ooh. Mmm. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's tight. It's got that gooseberry vibe. Like a sweeter gooseberry. I quite like the mouthfeel of it as well. It's like... It's got a gooiness to it. Like, like a melted sweet. So I'm not getting in. Look at this, what Fern's done. It does look bonny though. And I for one appreciate the effort. <laughs> Had to say that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I we just killed a rare parrot there that's just fallen to the floor. Ooh. Wow. Oops. That looks good. Ish. Look out, Fern's new hat from Decathlon today. It's absolutely stunning. Guys, I love Decathlon. Oh, no. <laughs> this is my first trip. On a scale of 1 to 10, Decathlon. It's 10. It's 10. It might even be an 11. Wow. I, it was a, it's the highlight of my holiday. Wow. Guys, if you come to Tenerife, make sure to hit up Decathlon. Oh, wow. That's great. I mean, apparently they're in England, but yeah, they are. I can't imagine anything so magical. That's what you get when you hang out with a professional forager. Look how pretty that is. What will it taste like though? Sorry about the underpants. <laughs> right, real talk. Here we go. Welcome to Real Talk with Paul and Fern. <laughs> I've not tried this yet, Fern's been chinning it. I've had two sips. Two sips. First of all, cheers. Cheers. Let's, go, let's have a go and see what it's like. Yum. It's yummy actually, it's nice. But, <laughs> Fern has having to, has just been having to tweeze her fine hairs and spikes out of her tongue. I wasn't careful. I didn't realise the extent of how prickly the prickly pears were, but I can confirm. What they are they? Are prickly. Very, <laughs> they live up to their name, don't they? Yeah. Could so, you tell them what you've done? So what we had to do, <laughs> mainly me, because we got paranoid then after Fern got in it that they were all in the drink, which they were. We had to. They weren't. There was. There was a couple. There was maybe two, but two. It's not worth enough. risking it getting it in your throat. I wasn't being careful enough. I should have been washing my hands between handling yeah. the prickly pears and making the drink. Prickly pears are a labour of love. That's what we've learnt. Mm. But so we were thinking, right? Well, let's. We're going to have to get some muslin. We didn't have any, so we've used a pair of my underpants. Did you wash those underpants? No. Nah. <laughs> Yesterday's. I can't we use fresh <laughs> underpants to waste. Them. So now there's a pair of like old underpants <laughs> that are bright red in the sink. It looks like there's been an absolute <laughs> murder in there, like a mayhem. Uh, final thoughts? I know why they cultivate them without the prickles. Now. And the seeds. <laughs> Is it worth it? No, but we have learned something today. We've learned, yeah, I've had a good laugh. And we've had a delicious cocktail. And a delicious cocktail. Mm. Cheers, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Right, you'll see a change of attire. No, it's not the next day. It's just like, not soon after we were just outside because them little hairs are a nightmare hairs. They got everywhere. Third got one in the roof of her mouth, in her tongue. <laughs> that is crazy. She had to come in and pick it out of her tongue. They were all in our clothes. Every time we were like wiping ourselves, we'd push one into the skin and be like, oh no. All in my pants. So we've had to just take all our clothes off, we've so soaking everything, we've had to wipe everything down with wet cloths. If you're going to prick, prick, don't prick, 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 don't prick prickly pears because they're not worth it. Stick to the lakes and rivers you're used to. But, but, green bit could be oh yeah, green, yeah, stay tuned for green bit. It could be the redemption of the prickly pear. Yeah, let's go. You know, we're just trying this for the first time. Aren't we? Yeah. So we were saying earlier, like if it was just, like if it was English foraging and stuff, obviously Fern would know what she was doing more, but because we're in a different country and we've both never tried this before, we're just, it's trial and error and it's quite funny, so we're just bringing you along for the ride. Slime. And these are slimy, <laughs> slimy little, 
Ooh, oh yeah. Um, they're so slimy. They're real slimy. But I mean, so, yeah, okra's slimy, isn't it, when you cook in the pan? Well, if you fry it, it's good, isn't it? Fried okra. Do you know what I do know? What? Is that they're traditionally served with egg. Right, are they? Yes. Should we rustle up an egg? Yes. Okay, we're going to rustle up an egg, stay tuned. Right, here we go, we're going to try this now. Just... There we go. <laughs> For some reason, when I first tasted it, it was like burnt pancake, like the edge of a, a pancake. Are you feeling that or what? I was like, what does that taste like? And then as soon as you said pancake, I was like, it's a pan it tastes like pancake batter, like a pancake. <laughs> it's a bit, isn't it? But then, mm. at the end, it gets slimy, <laughs> like an ogre. <laughs> and it tastes a bit like a, a pimento pepper. Or padron pepper. Guys, if you if you're in the market for some slimy pancake batter, <laughs> <laughs> get involved. <laughs> to be fair though. Nutritious and delicious. We might have just cooked it terribly. Like some people are probably gonna watch this and be like, you've mullered it. Sorry for mullering it. It's not it's not awful. It's not bad. I can eat it. A rave review. A rave review. <laughs> I could I eat, it. eat it. If I was starving to death, I'd eat it. Well done, Fern. Congratulations. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>